Hello everyone and welcome to the Canadian Redneck Channel. My name is Dave and today we're going to be testing some Russian MFS ammunition. It has 203 grain soft points in 7.62 by 54R. Um, we're going to be shooting it from a trusty old 9130 and we've got our ballistics gel set up here and I've got three gallon jugs filled with water like vinegar, vinegar type jugs and a five gallon pail behind that because I expect uh, the 7.62 by 54 is a pretty powerful round I imagine it'll go right on through the ballistics gel and I'd like to get a bullet capture so we'll get the camera set around on the side so we can get a good view of our impact with the gel and uh, I'll get that set up and we'll get started Well, that very much surprises me. Got a good solid center of mass hit. Uh, all the way through, almost all the way through, it did not enter any of the water jugs. That is just, I can, I can feel the bullet at the back of the block. That is pretty impressive. And I forgot my stupid measuring tape today. But back there, that would be about 15 inches of penetration which is not too shabby. Uh, I'll move the camera a little bit closer so we can get an angle and we'll cut into these blocks and see what happens, see what it did. Okay, we'll start off with our front block. Like I said, I mean, pretty good, pretty nearly center on hit. And you can see the kind of permanent cavity it was making coming out the back side. It's, that's about five and a half or six inches there. That is pretty impressive. I'll take a knife and open it out up. There. Okay, you can see that very rapidly after entry it started opening up that mushroomed really well and look at the the permanent cavity radiating out from the center bullet track that that did really well I'm very impressed I was a little concerned that with the steel jacket on this bullet that it might not open up very well. Okay. And you can see on the second block, the wound cavity is, yeah, between three, and a, three to four inches there. A little bit narrower that way. But still, a good solid. That carried pretty straight through the first block, right into the second one. Towards. Ready to go, yeah. Towards the back of the second block, it seems like it maybe yawed a little bit. Not clear enough to see through very well. But we'll start down through. There it is. You can see the expansion on that leg core that about tripled in size and here's the jacket at the end of its travel the leg core did actually come out of the jacket but they were right found together in the wound channel um, pretty reasonable performance I would say uh, we might need to 
retest that again just to see how a second one would perform because one isn't much of a test group but there are some pieces of lead that's a pretty significant piece of lead there along the wound channel which is pretty normal with a lead core bullet but I would say that held together quite well really and performed really how you would want it to for a hunting round that would certainly be well suitable for deer bear moose you can see on the second block the wound channel here permanent cavity you're looking at still three inches at about 13 14 inches here and it stopped traveling at about 15 inches that concludes another redneck science project with dave hope you enjoyed the video um thank, i want to thank all of you for watching for taking the time to to come to visit see my channel watch my videos uh, if you have any comments or questions any suggestions please leave them in the comment section below and as always, like, subscribe, share. Have a great day.